Art Bros, another episode with returning with Patrick. Hello. Hey, hello. Everyone, say hi to Patrick, everybody. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be back. Yeah, it is. There it is. Uh, so, um, Patrick, you've been gone for a while, but we're glad to have you back oh, with us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And we're Rose gonna, from the grave. Yeah. He's a zombie now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we're just going to get right into it. Right. Just let it rip. You know that you've done this many times before with us. So mm-hmm. um, Today we're talking about Alberto Giacometti's famous sculpture, uh, City Square. Now look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's a sculpture, but most of the sculpture seems to be the base. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of weight. A lot of weight on the bottom. A lot of weight on it, and that's going to come into play as, uh, as soon as we start talking about it. But just a few facts. Um, City Square made in 1948, so this is post-war, um, out of bronze, and it's um, eight and a half by seventeen and a quarter or so. And so not a huge. Not, no, not, it's not very big at all. It's not very big at all. Although and, it makes it a very sweet paperweight. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Taught, yeah, it's the talk of the office. Yeah. Uh, but Alberta, like he, uh, he worked in like small and big stuff as well. Mm-hmm. I know it. Like there's some areas out in public. I. I forget where, but we're talking about like eight, like he's got big some, sculptures. He's got some big sculptures over in Pepsico and Purchase. Is that up? Uh, mm-hmm. oh. Yes. Should get some thicker drive. Yeah, uh, but yeah, so we have this little, like this little sculpture. First off, made out of bronze, which bronze is normally associated with high art. High art, like you know the Greek stuff and like the guys with the penises and, and the that the yeah, ripped, yeah, the yeah. Abs. If you didn't know what we were talking about, once we say <laughs> penises, you definitely know what we're talking about now. Yeah. yeah. So. And he had a bronze, and what we have here is this big, big weight of a base with these small, very skinny, elongated figures that are obviously man. Five in total. Yeah, five in total. Very crude, very raw-like, very brutish. Charcoal. charcoal yeah, yeah. Um, Obviously, this is made after the war, so the war is on everybody's mind still. Mm-hmm. Um, I've learned recently that... It was because the, the war, the all the horrors and the the, 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 the genocide, the, the just the, the measure of the death count and whatnot, it was a huge thing for art in this time. And this piece obviously reflects that. It really mm-hmm. does. Um, so what do we got, guys? What do you guys think about this? Well, it's just like people like were starting to wonder like whether they should, you know, what's their purpose now because there's that like surmountable amount of power that causes that much destruction. So you're just like okay with all that power out there and we can be wiped out in literally seconds yeah. i mean why like, like what's the point you know yeah. what's the point of living what's the point of connecting with people what's mm-hmm. the point of you know going through our daily lives if you can be snapped in half like a popsicle stick mm-hmm. yeah when you feel like almost like this really you know like skinny twig guy just yeah. walking around <laughs> yeah 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 like this this sort of like kind of all these figures they look lost they're obviously in a group, but they don't look like they're they're with each other. They're isolated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're isolated to to themselves, which is a um, comment on the human condition, maybe. Mm-hmm. You know, how we're all in this together, but none of us are really together. You know, they're not art bros. They're all in different directions. So, like, they, like, they won't... Uh... One of them, like, none of them are not facing directly one yeah, another. Yeah, if you see it, like, if their path continues, it doesn't look like they'll hit each other. No, no. Yeah. no. I mean, they'll definitely, like, cross paths, but they have, but none of them are lo- looking directly at one another. So, like, there's always, there just seems to be, like, that connection of, there is no connection mm-hmm. b- b- between them. You know, they're just kind of, like, wandering aimlessly. Yes. Almost zombie-like. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And if we could talk about the base again, it's, like, a big, solid base. Um, I see it, this is just my interpretation, I see it as kind of like a weight on the human race. As like now, since we've, we've just gone through these horrific things, now we kind of have this weight, this like responsibility to like never do it again. You know, this kind of, that, I mean, that's what I, I see the weight as. Do you guys think the weight has Cement anything? shoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cement shoes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, These people are just walking a big slap of like wet cement, and they're just like, <laughs> like, oh, like, oh. like a. Yeah. Well, right I need to get to work. <laughs> God. I just got this carpet. I know. Got crap on me. Jesus. Oh my Crocs! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, the figures are like charcoal. They're very raw. They're like they're bronzed, but they seem to not be finished as sculptures. Crude. They're crude, yeah. So it seems like this is where the second layer would go on them, or I, I'm not really a big sculpture guy, obviously. But they seem to be in the middle of that sculpture.
sculpture creating state, and I think I do believe it's extremely intentional because this was Giacometti's style. This whole, well, at least in this period, in these couple of years after the war, he was very into these elongated, um, emaciated, rusty looking. Yeah, emaciated, look, rusty looking figures that kind of represented man and his existentialist sort of struggle. Existentialist yes. struggle. There's exactly. the word. There's the word. Existentialist struggle. Existentialism. Which, uh, you know. Finding your place in the universe through struggle. Mm -hmm. struggle. And also, we should probably mention, like, he was, like, one of the bigger guys for this whole phase, this whole era. Yeah. Like, this, like, why am I here and all that. Yes. Why am I here? Mm -hmm. You Who can't tell I? me what to do, Mom and Dad. Yes. <laughs> Just don't get me, obviously. Yeah. Shit it, Mom. You know, like, so, uh, so, what are our closing thoughts on this, guys? What do, you, what do you guys, what do you guys take away from this piece? I take away the loneliness of the human condition. I take away the burden of just horror atrocities that have just happened, and I do take away the crudeness. Kind of just kind of reminds you of the I'm sorry, the, the, the rustiness, the crispiness. I can't think of any other words. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of the effects of war. You know, these people look like they just got bombed. Mm -hmm. They look like they just been charcoal. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think the the tom the dropping of the atomic bombs definitely influenced a piece like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, for me, I definitely feel like it's a pretty solid, like, I feel like I'm looking at the result of a man's depression. I mean, I look at this, and there is, there's very, there's no, like, yeah. all, all, cynicism Yeah, the max. <laughs> Seriously. No, yeah, I mean, this guy's just, I just get depressed when, I, like, when I think about what, what this, uh, what I try to think about what this guy was thinking when he was doing this, and what point he had to get at to actually, you know create this sculpture to have like this type of really dark yeah. thought hey guys look what i made yeah. oh that's really cool Giacometti uh, yeah. why don't you stop just bringing us down yeah, you know, really? like, down? <laughs> yeah it was a very dark time for art well either way apart from the bronze I'd say the weight of the depression of this mm -hmm. makes still makes us a sweet ass paperweight yes. yeah it does a dank ass yes paperweight. I would love to have this paperweight yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's pretty cool alright so that's what we think. Um, obviously, there's a lot more to be said about this. Um, a lot that we can't get in 10 minutes. But, anyways, Patrick, it's good to have you back. It's good to be back. And uh, we'll see you guys next time on Earth Bros. Peace out. Bye. Bye.